Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to show you how I make two of my favorite iced tea recipes because you wanted to see it. Now I've had a lot of requests for these recipes and that's what I'm going to prepare today. One is my orange iced tea and the other one is my peach mint. Now these are refreshing, delicious, and it's a good way of you getting some of your daily vitamins. So today I'm going to show you how I make them step by step. Let's get started. So as you can see, I've got all my oranges and peaches here. So I'm gonna be using three oranges, okay? And here I've got them. Now these are washed, scrubbed, clean. I'm going to peel them because I need the peel here. See, I'm just gonna go like this. So I've got all three done. So now that I have peeled all three oranges, I'm gonna get the peel of two of them. This is two right here. Now we can go to the stove. So I'm gonna start out by preparing my tea and I'm gonna be using this deep saucepan, see? So I'm gonna turn on my heat to high and I'm gonna add one and a half quarts of water, see? Just like that. I'm gonna add the peel of two oranges. Now you can add all three, but I find that two is good for me. It's all a matter of taste. I'm gonna move it around like this, make sure it's all submerged, and I'm gonna wait until it comes up to a boil, just like that. I'm gonna be using Louisiana iced tea, but sometimes I use Lipton. Either one is perfect for me. Now you can use black tea, mint, green tea, any tea that you like. These are the ones that I like. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. Now these are family size, and I use two of them. And I think that two is perfect. Some people like it really dark. And if you like it really dark, you can add another bag. See, so I'm just gonna tie them together like this, make a little knot so they'll stay together. Now, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cut up my orange. See, I don't want this white part of the orange. So these are seedless oranges. See how there's no seeds in them. So I cut them up like this and then carefully I just remove all the orange from inside like this because I don't want the white part. See, just like that. And I'm just gonna use this part. And if a little bit of the peel goes in there, that's fine. Just remove it as best as you can. See, and I'm gonna continue with all three. So this is my last piece. Nothing goes to waste around here. My Ron and I are gonna be eating these for a while. Mm. See? And look at this. So I'm gonna clean up my area and my water is getting ready to boil. So I'm gonna go back to the stove. Now, as you can see, my water is starting to boil gently like that. Now I've got my two family size tea bags. I'm gonna put them in here. And I'm just gonna drop them in there. I'm gonna push them down. Now that it's boiling, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna let them sit there for six minutes. Now you don't wanna leave the tea bags in there any longer because your tea can get bitter. Six minutes is always perfect for me, just like that. So my tea is ready. It's time to remove the peel and the tea bags. See, look at that. Now remove them right here in this bowl. Now it's time to add my sugar. This is the one that I use. I like to use it in my coffee and I like to use it in the tea. It gives it a nice golden color and I love the taste of the molasses in that sugar. But you can use regular white sugar if you want. So I'm gonna add my sugar in here. Now that was one half cup. So now I'm just gonna stir it around like this. See, and I'm gonna let it cool down a little. And at the same time that it's cooling, the sugar is dissolving. So I'm gonna clean up my area and get ready for the next step. So while my tea is cooling down and the sugar is dissolving in there, I'm gonna blend my oranges in this blender. So I'm gonna put my oranges in here and I'm gonna add half a cup of water. Now I'm gonna blend it real well.
just like that, see? So I'm gonna get this out of the way, and I've got a bowl right here with a sieve. I'm gonna pass it through because I don't want a lot of pulp in here. Now I do like the pulp, but just not so much. If you like a lot of pulp, then you can just leave it like that and pour it straight in. See? And then I'm gonna let it go through the sieve. And I think that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna clean up my area and then I'll show you the next step. So my tea is just slightly warm. You don't wanna use it when it's hot and you don't have to wait until it's totally cold. And the sugar is dissolved perfectly. So I'm gonna pour my juice into my pitcher. I'm gonna pour in my tea. And I'm gonna stir it. So this is ready and delicious. So now we're ready to pour our glass here. I've got some sliced oranges. When you're retired, you just have so much time and it's all about doing things that you love. See? Put my orange slices in there. Here it is. So here is my orange iced tea. Cheers, now for the taste test. Oh man, this is delicious. Super refreshing and I can for sure pick up the taste of the orange. I put the leftover in the refrigerator and it'll last in there beautifully until tomorrow. So that's why I add the ice in here. But if you're gonna serve it to family or friends, you can dress it up by putting in all your ice and your orange slices and everything in there, okay? So now that you've seen my orange iced tea recipe, let me show you my peach and my mint iced tea. Now I have one and a half quarts of water in here in this deep saucepan. And as you can see, it's starting to boil. I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna add my mint. See, I've got a little bunch of mint right here. And I'm just gonna tear it up. And I'm gonna drop it into the water like that. And I've got my two family size tea bags. I'm gonna put them in here. So I'm gonna let them steep like that for six minutes, just like I did with the orange peel. So while my tea is steeping right here with my mint leaves, I'm gonna start out with my peaches and they're real nice and ripe, but they're not mushy. So I'm gonna start by peeling them. So here's the last of it. So I'm gonna cut up my peach and discard the pit. Ooh, look at this, see? I was about to start cleaning up my area and then remembered that I hadn't added my sugar. So here's my sugar. I'm adding half a cup. Now, if you want it a little sweeter, you can add a little bit more sugar or a little less. Now I'm gonna clean up my area and I'll see you in a little bit. So now I'm ready to remove everything out of this mixing bowl. See, you can discard this. Now we're ready to put it together. Mm. I'm going to add half a cup of water and I'm going to blend it real well. See? So now I'm going to pass it through the sieve. And this is the end of it, see? So I just saw my neighbor and her husband sitting on the porch. So I think I'm gonna surprise them and I'm gonna prepare the pitcher and take it over. I'm gonna put some ice in here. I'm gonna put some peach slices. You want plenty of them. Here are some mint leaves. I'm gonna put them in there. Let's 
See? Now I'm gonna pour in my tea. Now I'm gonna give it a nice stir. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. And then Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Very cold and refreshing, and the peaches just jump out with a mint. So here is my peach mint iced tea, and here is my orange iced tea. See? If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.